This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That was a very transparent uh, testimony uh, mm -hmm. from one of our heroes in hip hop music. Music in general, and just an all-around solid guy. I talk about him all the time. He may not yep. even realize it. Right. His, his ears probably be buzzing because I be giving him so much <laughs> love. Because I, I really just like this dude, man. Right. Like, I, appreciate the love, if, man. If he didn't rap, I'd still be like, "Where my homie free at?" Right. You know, uh, we right. always screaming team. That's early. how it should be. Yeah, you know? man. It's not. <laughs> so you, you've been a solid dude since day one, man. I've done same, a, same for you, a, man. A lot of great intros for you, but man, you know this 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 latest chapter in your life, man. I really gotta salute you and commend you for um, being up. Front with it, being transparent about no it, no um, grabbing it, you know, by the hold and and moving it forward and turning it into a positive where a lot of folks wouldn't. Um, the one and only Freeway. No doubt. I'll let your boy. Freeway is yes, here. Yes, sir. You know, and uh, that clip was from a doc that you're doing, right? Yeah, I'm doing a documentary called Free Will, mm -hmm. and it's basically about my life from, you know, when, when I started, young boy in Philly, you know, trying to get on to present day. What I'm going through now with me dealing with being on dialysis and moving forward, putting out a new album, you know, got a lot of bright things looking for I'm looking forward to in the future. So, you know, yeah. we, we wrapping all that in there. Free Will, the album is out tomorrow, right? Yes, sir. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Everybody make sure y'all support real hip hop. Mm. Trust me, y'all gonna love the album from beginning to end. That's my word. Okay. Um I, I, I was gonna ask you to differentiate real hip hop from what's not I real. I was thinking that too. But 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 I wanna come back <laughs> to the um dialysis and and experiencing kidney failure, you uh -huh. know, at such a young age. Yeah. You know, I've had like grandfather my grandfather and other elderly fa uh, family members that have experienced dialysis but when i heard about that from you did did you ever have any issues prior to it before your diagnosis well in, in 2012 i was diagnosed with two of the ma the major uh risk factors uh -huh. for kidney failure which is diabetes and high blood pressure and that affects a lot of african americans mm -hmm. and we don't even realize it you know we don't even pay as much attention to it as we should and you know I was I was taking my medicine and you know I was doing everything as far as that but I still wasn't taking care of myself like I should have been mm -hmm. and and knowledge is power and knowledge is the key mm. and I, I always say that cuz if I would have been knowledgeable about the fact that I'm walking around with two of the major risk factors for kidney disease then I know I would have been taking care of myself more than I was you That's know? so crazy that you saying that free because I just had a conversation with Sway and some other people um, just a week ago because um, I wasn't feeling well. And so I went and just had my blood work checked mm -hmm. and found out that I should have been eating that was better for my blood type. And when they, they did my blood type, I found out I shouldn't be having chicken, that the whole vegetable oil, canola oil and corn oil wow, was yeah. no good for me at all. So I had to switch over to grapeseed oil, coconut oil and olive oil and start cooking it. Like what made you even, you said you got diagnosed, but was it, you wasn't feeling well? What made you go to the doctor? Well, I was like, I was feeling very fatigued, you know? Yeah, yep. And, you know, I was I would get tired just walking to the car and I just knew something wasn't right. Yeah. So I kept mm -hmm. going back and forth to the doctors trying to figure out what it was. And then uh, I went to my primary care physician and, uh, you know, they did a they did all my blood work. Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And like a week later, they hit me like, yo, you need to get to the hospital. Your, uh, your uh, kidney functions is off. Your creatine level is through the roof. And, you know, your uh, electrolytes is wacky like it's, yeah, yeah something's not right so you know first thing i did was what i just which i just heard yeah. <laughs> on the documentary i went to the man shit asked a law to, to help me deal with whatever it is mm -hmm. went to the doctors went to the hospital they told me you know i got kidney failure they cut my chest open put a catheter in my chest and then the next day i've been doing dialysis and i've been doing dialysis ever since three times a week four hours a day uh, uh, is, is it a is, um i always thought like in the 90s <clears throat> Free freeway. Okay. All right. Um, we adapted a lifestyle in, in, in rap music that I always was scared that, you know, down the line is going to start affecting us as we got older. Speak on it. You know, yeah. uh, you know, we smoked a lot of blunts. A lot drank, of Henny. Drank a lot of brown liquor. Mm -hmm. We never sleep because we believe if you sleep, you let you slacking on your job. Right. When we just had Ariana Huffington come up here and explain how important sleep, sleep is. is. Yeah. Would you attribute mm -hmm. that lifestyle to this condition? 
Uh, most definitely, you know, def like I definitely like it was a point in time where I used to drink Patron every day. Hmm. Damn. And it was a point in time in my career where I felt like I had to drink before I performed. You know, mm-hmm. so I definitely was abusing alcohol. You know, for years I smoked a lot of marijuana. You know, and I wasn't eating right. I would eat cheeseburgers, cheesesteaks. You know. Philly, man. Mm. You know, yeah, and Philly. just being in the studio. Nah, like, and that you, Kennedy and that you, crown you're in the chicken, studio, yo. You're wow. in the studio 11, 30, 12, 12, 1, 2 in the morning. Right. Only thing that's open is pizza restaurants and, and stuff no like picks. that. It's good, you know, man. You got it, you know. What'd you say, Sue? Nah, it's good, Bibbles. In, yeah, in Philly. Philly, man. It's wow. a banging ass cheesesteaks. <laughs> And that yeah. crown, and and that's what happened. Was everybody like with beans, and you know, uh, were, were everybody all your, you know, the your friends? Were everybody aware of it at that time, or was everybody? Yeah, because we, you know, we was doing a lot of shows and stuff, and tours yeah. and stuff. So, like a couple times, I was on the road with him, and I wasn't right, and like we knew something wasn't right. Mm-hmm. Then I went to the doctors and like got a, a gastro test and all that, and then they were saying there might be something wrong with my stomach. So I thought that was that. They gave me some medicine. I still was on the road, not feeling right. And then we had a big state property sh- or a rock reunion show with Dipset mm-hmm. in in Chicago. Mm-hmm. And the day before that is when I went to the hospital. And then, you know, I had to let them know I wasn't going to be at the show because, well, my people had to let them know because I was going through all that. Like, I, I couldn't make it to the show. Wow. Dude. Damn, you couldn't make it to that show, though? Yeah. And then I had my own big festival that Saturday in Philly, the Free Fest, and I couldn't make it to that neither. Jeez. And by then I had had dialysis one time. So I'm like, I'm cool. I feel better. I could go do the show. They're like, nigga, you ain't going nowhere. nowhere. Wow. So telling your story, have you seen a shift in like your boys, your crew, and their lifestyle, their wellness? Are like people eating better, you know, cutting down on alcohol? I seen a shift for niggas that was around me that ain't around me. When I, when everything slowed down, they wasn't around. Mm-hmm. But mm. the, the people that's there for me, definitely, you know, making ch- little changes in their life too because I got to eat better. So they're not going to be around me eating crazy. Yeah, when people, um, I gotta eat good, you know. They so. always cut out, man. When they mm-hmm. think you, when they think you down. And here's the interesting thing, mm. because you, you being an advocate of uh, my more healthy behavior, you've received awards now, right? Yep. And, uh, March 10th, I, I got the Patient Advocacy Award from the National Kidney Foundation. All right. Wow. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of work yeah. with them. Yep. Like we, I did a couple kidney walks, you know, and um, you know, been a heavy supporter of them and spreading the message and um, raising the awareness of kidney. Disease, and I want to give a shout out to my main man, Dr. Dory Sagif. He's a uh, transplant specialist, mm-hmm. and I got the, I had the honor of interviewing him for my documentary last week in Baltimore. And I told him when I come up here, I'm a shoddy mod. He's a huge fan of the show, and he always mm-hmm. listening. Oh, so. oh what okay, up, that's what's up, Doc. And, he, and he's also a musician too, you know. So what he play? I forget what he said he played. I forgot what he played. Tell but him, come I think on he up played here. a couple instruments. But Tell you him know, come up here. We <laughs> gonna get we gonna get together and knock something out. So we do it all cipher. together right here. <laughs> all right, let's <laughs> do it. Nice. That's so, dope. So now you know I, I've watched the doc and and I, I've been really happy for you, man. And and uh, and the way you've embraced this and you've been bringing more awareness to it. Mm-hmm. it. It seemed like it's like a new beginning for you. Yeah, most definitely. That's definitely how I feel. You mm-hmm. know, I, I feel good. I feel like God gave me a second chance at life. Things could have mm-hmm. been way Amen. worse. You know. uh, Musically, I, I feel like I'm the best I've ever been. You know, mm-hmm. we started a new company. Me and my partner, Scolito, and my other partner, S. Frank, mm-hmm. we started a new company called New Rothschilds, and they they actually producers, and uh, Lito's a rapper, too. And, uh, yeah, Scolito, yeah. They produced eight records on a new album, and, and we just got a chemistry that's amazing, and we just ready to get the streets in the world what they missing, and that's that feeling, that's you know? Feeling, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm glad a lot of people would have locked themselves in their rooms and withered away. Yeah. Right. Mm, yeah. You know, you did the total opposite, man. Exactly. That's what I say. This dude has always been a solid dude. Free you know, that, it, it, it has a lot to do with my Islam, you know, and, mm-hmm. and, and knowing that God is not going to put nothing on you that you can't deal with, you mm-hmm. know? And, and everything that happens is already ordained by by God. The The ink has been dried in the... In the the pen has been lifted, you know, so what's written for me is written for me. So I'm not going to sit around and cry about it. I'm going to just deal with it and keep moving forward, you know. Yeah. I mean, and hopefully I can motivate people that's in the same situation as me that think it's a 
a death sentence. It's not. You still could be successful. You still could live a healthy, active life. After your surgery, how did you did you immediately feel the change, or did you go through a lot of pain? Did you have you know? I saw so I saw the no. The first at first they they uh, had to put the thing in my chest mm. so mm-hmm. they could access it, and then I had to get a surge. I got a surgery where I got my arm cut open. Yeah, they took the main vein from my arm and removed it and put it to the top so they could access it. That's how I get the dialysis now. Okay, and um, I had to let that heal for like two months before they could access it. So as yeah. soon as they let that heal, they removed this out of my chest. When I had this in my chest, I couldn't even take a shower. Mm. Like wow. I had to wash up because if it got wet, it was straight to my heart. So I could have got an infection yeah. or anything, you yeah. know. So. If y'all mind me slide one, one thing in. Yeah. I remember the day that he got the operation when he first went in. That same day, he, he was getting out of the bed, dancing and singing and spinning around to New Edition. Made it that much <laughs> of a difference, that quick of the a... The same day. Really? Wow. Same day. It's, it's on Instagram. You know, mm-hmm. people want to go to his Instagram and, and check it out. He was dancing. Like, I never saw his, his attitude change, even when he didn't know that he had mm-hmm. kidney disease. He he just was happy every day. You know, he was praying every day. Like, he never missed prayers. Like, mm-hmm. you know, he always put God first, and he just always kept a great attitude. So there's people that's listening that is sick or going through something just don't give up, you know, thank God just to be here, you know, living. And you never know, that next moment could just be a better moment for you. you don't give up. Right. He never that's gave dope. up. Damn, man, that's right. dope. That's dope. Um, how was his dance moves, though? Right, anybody, right. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how close was it, really? It was uh, right. He spent without falling. <laughs> New so. edition. New edition. Uh, you know, Free, you know, last time I saw him, you know, you were a lot heavier. You know, mm-hmm. your skin wasn't glowing like you gets glowing right now. Demon. I, you know, you, you look, you know, since then, you, you actually look kind of, you, you know, sexy. Free, free, <laughs> you know, like, you know, like a, sexy. got a sexy on, right? Uh-huh. You, know, you know, feels good, huh? A, a blessing came out of it, you know? <laughs> Word. <laughs> um, go ahead, Heather. No, I wanted to say something about the topic real quick and just... Be real, because it's something that we don't talk about a lot in hip-hop. You put in so much work. A lot of us put in work. How was the insurance part of it? Like, you talking surgeries, and when your health start to become an issue, a lot of cats don't know about AFTRA, and, like, you got to do this, yeah, yeah. and you got to earn money. How was I've the been, insurance um, in for that's this? That's real. I've been doing a lot of uh, work with Bernie Sanders. I just was with him last Saturday in Baltimore. I did a, a rally for him mm. at uh, Lincoln University where I spoke and, you know, performed a couple records and uh one of the reasons why i'm backing him is because of the health care you know health care is very very important and i feel as though every american should have affordable or free health care like they do in other countries like canada you mm-hmm. know because it's important if i didn't have health insurance i'm i'm actually active on the transplant list right now and to get on a transplant list the work up was upwards towards two hundred thousand dollars. You know, oh, insurance wow. took took care of the bulk of that. Mm-hmm. Without insurance, I'd be asked out. You know, so mm. it's a blessing. As far as my insurance, I'm on my wife insurance, and right. that's a blessing because right. it's federal insurance. Got you. you know, so beautiful. But it's definitely important to have insurance. Before that, like when um 2012, when I got diagnosed with high blood pressure and diabetes, I was paying for the medicine out of pocket mm-hmm. six seven hundred dollars a month mm-hmm. early. Mm-hmm. Besides everything else, I got to pay. You know, so. Wow, and they don't care if you don't got the money. You ain't yeah, getting yeah. the help. Mm. Um, another thing you mentioned in this doc too is you said something really interesting, man. And I think a lot of dudes. We just have Mac Mall from the Bay up here, and I think a lot of dudes will be able to relate to as you get older, as you get wiser. You said you've taken a lot. You drain the community. Yeah, most definitely. With your past for uh, years, antics. Straight. You mm. know, being in the streets. You said you've hurt people. Yeah. You know, you dealt with poison, spread spread it poison, mm-hmm. and you felt like it's on your time to give back. Yeah, that's yeah. why I try to give back as much as I can, even just a smile or some kind words. You know, mm-hmm. every, if you follow me on Instagram, you see every morning I tweet out a positive message for the people, you know, because some people need to hear those messages every day because they be going through different things and you know, mm-hmm. they don't hear, hear no encouraging words. So I just feel like it's important to give back as much as I can, any way I can. That concept, though, of taking away from the community, explain that, though. I don't think people see it like that. When people hustle, they just see it as, man, I got to fill my pockets. Mm. But they don't see the flip side. Of I had a song on my first on my first album called Victim of the Ghetto. Mm-hmm. And on the hook, I was like, we eat, sleep, buy, sell, drugs because i'm just another victim of the ghetto when i rob still lie to get money bust slugs because i'm just another product of the ghetto it's the truth mm-hmm. we eat we sleep 
We buy drugs because we use drugs. We smoke, you know, people smoke pot pills, drink syrup. Then they sell drugs to fiends, mm -hmm. and they sell cocaine to fiends, and then fiends that hit somebody over the top of their head to get the cocaine, they do anything. I, I didn't see smokers jump in a puddle of water face first just to get a rock. Damn. You know, it's, what? it affects families, and then they got families at home uh -huh. that, like, they might have a, a child that's not getting the proper care that they need because they mom outside trying to get some crack that I was selling to them. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I definitely affected a lot of families, hurt a lot of people, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's Freeway here, man, and he's making good, man. We got Kenya on the line from Illinois. Hey, Kenya, what up, Kenya? what's up? Kenya, hello. Kenya, you hello. there? Go ahead. Say hello to Freeway. Kenya. Hello? Yes, say yeah, hello I'm to Freeway. Go ahead, say hello to Freeway. Hey, Freeway. How what's are up, you? Kenya? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm maintaining. I'm going to be quick because I know you got things to do, but I just wanted to say thank you for getting on the radio and doing what you what you do and saying what you said. Um, I'm a mom. I've got five kids. My middle one, he's 15, 2015 in September. He got diagnosed with leukemia. I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, he's good, though. God is good. He's yes. maintaining. He's in remission right now, so he's He's definitely doing good. Um, so, like, you had talked about, you know, the fatigue. He's a football player. He had all of that. Mm -hmm. We took him in for blood work because it just didn't look right to me. You know, he was tired. Face was running. He was sweating. You know, he had eyes were watery. So I took him in. We found out his counts weren't right. Immediately, we had to take him to the children's hospital. Mm -hmm. Long story short, he had the he had the whole, his kidney, he had went into kidney failure because the leukemia had, proud of his kidneys his blood pressure was at 230 oh, like man. and this automatically happened within hours like literally hours we did the whole dialysis for a while but like i said god is good so his kidneys are now at 100 uh, percent that's great Blessing. Blessing. Yeah. but like you said about the eating we had to change our whole concept yeah of yep. eating we cut out the red meat i had to change the oils that i cooked in I mean, I had to change the whole nine yards. So to think about a mom with five kids, I work, and, you know, that cost. Like, even when you have to flip to organic eating and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but I did what I had to do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like me, they don't offer those that information out unless you seek it out. Right. Yeah. People, it's yeah. not thrown at you. And you go to the Internet, and it's so much to take in. You have no clue what's what because some healthy foods are really not good for you just because it has the tag healthy that's yeah, true that's why we're going to do our best to try to spread the word keep your head up and hopefully everything be all right with your peoples kenya thank you and then uh for where can people go free if they want to get more information that that can help them well you know i've been doing a, a lot of work with the uh, national kidney foundation they have a website that you can access and they have a lot of information about you know kidney failure and the things that you can do to keep yourself healthy and y'all can follow me on Instagram at Philly Freeway. You know, I, I always post something for the people as much as I can. So, mm -hmm. you know? The album is out tomorrow. Free Will is on iTunes. It's going to be available worldwide. Yes, now, sir. Now, you brought Skull with you. What's, what for? What do you come here for? Just to support? No, I mean, support we, he, came first. Here to do what he, yes, he, he came here to do what he do. You What's know? going on with you, man? Oh, uh, man, I'm um, about 90% through uh, finishing. Actually, me and my partner, we wrote and produced a whole album mm -hmm. titled Free Dell. Mm -hmm. I got a brother. He's a juvenile lifer. He's been in prison since he was 15. Mm -hmm. He just turned 40 um, April 7th. So um, they just passed the law January 25th that is unconstitutional to get juveniles life. So there's a huge possibility that he'll be coming home finally. Wow. Mm -hmm. So okay. that project is dedicated to him and mass incarceration and to the families and friends outside of prison that you know go through what they go through with that has people in prison mm -hmm. incarcerated wow when is that project coming out uh it should be coming out within the next few weeks to a month uh-huh it's almost like 90 percent done is um live instrumentation throughout the whole project and also we recorded uh my brother and and I, our conversations so he's actually narrating the whole album oh that's ill that's ill oh so, uh, okay crazy. Looking forward to hearing it, man. How, yeah. What's your social media? Skylito Envoy, S C H O L I T O E N V O Y on all social media platforms. Is that your name, name? No, my name is Richard. But how'd you come up with that name? Well, Sky, well, it was I was actually Scholar. Okay. At first, 
Uh-huh. And I was scholar because, you know, like like you said, like education, like knowledge is power. So, you know, as a, as a child, I had honor rolls since I began school. Like okay. I graduated with a 3.9. So okay. oh. people just call me Ow. scholar. Ow. That's a real time. Time. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then um, as I got older, this nickname came about, um, Lido, mm -hmm. and I just merged them together because it was original. I would Google scholar and a whole bunch of like religious scholars and mm -hmm. stuff would come up, and then I just merged them together and Scalito. So when you Google that, it, it pretty Scott much Lito. Really pop up. Damn, that makes so much sense to me because I've been trying to figure that out for a long time. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Knowledge is power. All right. Uh, well, have you ever rapped on this show before, man? Not on your show. No, 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 don't go nowhere else with it. It's just this show. You never rapped on this show? No, not at all. I thought he was going to start naming other shows for you. I don't want to hear that shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not today. This is a blessing to be man, on this you, show. I, man, you ready for this? I'm always ready. You ready for this? <laughs> always. Yo, Wonder, drop a beat on me. Mm. Oh. Sway in the morning, shade four five. Scalito is here. Mm -hmm. Freeway is here. Team early. Let me set it off. Sway in the morning. If you want to. Yeah. Ah. Poppy Chulo, y'all Bato's, fake capos, y'all snitch ass niggas, Donnie Brasco. Bout to make my young bitch go and get the Roscoe. Do like Pac said and run and tell a cop, yo. North Philly criminal, no love for 5 -0. You worry about survival, so you turn 5 0. Rats, snitching with your hand on the Bible. I'm Malcolm by the window with my hand on the rifle. I'm Malcolm, the five prayers, the trip, the Mecca for protection. Muslim monkeys go wherever I go. They listen, they pay attention whenever I flow. Grew up in North Philly, only thing that I know mm. is I'm Tonto, don't make me scalp you I chop your head off, don't give a shit about you mm. I get more bread every time my mouth move Bulletproof bins, y'all ain't know they made them showerproof mm. With Colossal, dope Colossal from Power Moves Your bae, give me brains in the powder room, that's what power mm. do Puddle talk, bitch and complain, that's what cowards do Get everybody touched, that's what I would mm. do That's how it go, tell me how the shower go Honey shot, freeze it, nigga bosses move with calico mm. Swipe my visa like a hundred times in Malibu Pockets still swollen, mm. we going to Angola too Taking two, I stole your boo She can't control herself once she get a hold of goose mm. So I order more, then I pull the audible The genuine article, you see me in the article mm. Shout out to Jay-Z and B-Mac They seen it before y'all seen it Like an oracle, mm. first album classic First label historical In great shape, I can drop six more for you mm. New record deals, got a lot in store for you me and new Ross about to hit this world tour for you. Mm. We in the building. Ah. Free will tomorrow. Scott uh. hit him. It's hit hard him. to Let's escape go. eternal fire when he know his flow is a fortune. Not a ribbon in the sky, just know it's autumn to uh -huh. Normally after verse, what follows me is a course. But his time is coming soon, the final hours is formed. Uh. You see the lights on the bottom of his ball kicks. I'm in the zone in my triangle offense. Woo. You judge a lion by the size of his paw prints. I bet the all see and I say he's heartless. Uh -huh. Never been to failure. On my way to Friedel, how I passed the screen and I made a pair of mm. I'm in the stars getting broads off sentences. I can use some more brain, baby girl, limitless. And she far from a saint, no Benedict. Straight to the hole with it, I know how to finish it. How you trust a soul in this world full of bullshitters? Alcohol free, I got a pure liver, but I'm cold hearted. I got my own market, on my way to succeed. I got the goal started, I know where I'm going. Nigga, I've been the boss, I'm trying to squeeze through the Cracks like dental floss I drop a verse and I send it off I said that I'm just getting hotter Like women going through menopause I'm just trying to earn a plaque To display on the wall But soon as you succeed Say, uh, finger to my competition My clairvoyance like I'm the vision Reflecting on the past I ain't have a pot to piss in I rob a bank before I let my brother die in prison I rob a bank before I let my brother die in prison Shit, I'm just trying to take it song by song Me and my brother Frank About to take this world by storm uh. Watch the rain flush away the pain Ain't nothing change, my rhyme spews like typhoons, boa of the hurricanes The God I'm see if you haven't noticed mm. Thou shalt not mention me with these average jokers There's no equality as you can see When it comes to rap, the only time I disagree with Dr. King's dream Hold your feelings, niggas quoting lyrics, fireplace lit Romancing out in Leola Village Hot tub, we soaking, vibing a Tony Bennett Cigar smoke, corks flying, you know we sipping mm. I shit on these niggas in my suede slippers Sweets come with vacuums, bad Rooms with bidets in them <laughs> I'm way fresher than you assholes Ten grand minimum Then we let the tab close mm. New Rob Child's entertainment 
So we don't give a fuck who you banging with I'm sick of haters God bless me, shit I just blew my nose on a Tom Ford handkerchief mm, That's that I'm Foy Club shit the Brooks brother sweater with the plush knit mm. The earnest sewn jeans and some fresh J's Realest nigga breathing, huh? Guess I'm getting x-rayed And every rapper that I ever did a track with Got eight alive, they remains on the napkin mm. When we out the booth, you a friend of me? But when we in the booth, you my enemy Tell them bring an artist, Ooh. I'm ready for war Never seen a Philly artist like me ever before I'm the full package, <laughs> tell your fleet to pull back What's got Obama on my hip, number 44 Magnum I just let you boys have it, you hating niggas eat a dick I got you niggas by a landslide, Stevie Nicks I'm out with friends speaking French to a Creole chick Or in the hood shooting craps, eating Chico sticks mm. Shout out to fatties with the flat chest The youngest being raised on that excess Mama still there when the dad left Still had hoop dreams, fuck if we ain't have nuts mm. This ball game will get us out the hood mm. And gangsta the rap will set us straight for good Yeah, I'm talking millions on top of millions mm. Then bring it back to the neighborhoods huh. Shout out to Meek, I respect your hustle You know the taste of success when you felt the struggle I grew up listening to major figures And Ram Squad had the fast taking pictures Keep going. Mm. And State Prop had the game locked Every time my brother free spit, it was straight drop mm. He said the world will fill his brain Nine brigades had niggas saying early in the game uh. And most wanted had the ladies going mad Jerseys in their videos way before fam The JBM had the 80s on smash The legendary roots split stages in half So rest in peace to them boys in the trap It's a new nigga down to carry Philly on his back Scott Lito Scott Lito, ladies and gentlemen You got him sick <laughs> Woo. Woo. The legend and the rookie of the year. Woo. You already know. Let that breathe for a second. Get Heather back in here. She went to Carmelo as well. Thank y'all. Yo. Thank you. Thank you, Sway. You I've been waiting what? for that for years, man. Yo, nah, like, but you know, I respect you. I respect you. You know what you. it is, man. You came up here ready. Thank you. You came <laughs> up here ready. I respect you, man. You came, you know what this is. You know Thank what it you. is. You came up here ready. Already, you as, as my man yeah. Jack would say, you already Thank know you. what this is. Yeah, man. You already know. I respect you. You know how deep where I come from. I know. I know. I know. I respect dudes who don't take, who don't waste these opportunities, man. Thank you. You came up here, man. You man, shit. Thank man, you. Man, that's it, man. That's that's wow. the show right there. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> that's the show Thank right you. there. You Scott know, Lito, man. man, give out your information, man. You gifted. Thank you. thank you, thank you so much, man. It's a yeah. blessing. Yeah. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, all social media platforms at Scott Lito Envoy, S C H O L I T O E N V O Y. Make sure y'all definitely go buy that free will tomorrow. Free will in stores tomorrow. Make Stream sure y'all it. Get it. It's available buy on it all stores. platforms. Sir, shout out to that's Frank Black Moses, the super producer. Cheer. New Rob Child's family. I'm trying to say this without dissing nobody else. You What's know. You Thank you so much, Sway. Yeah, you man. don't understand how much this means to me. Nah, man, it means a lot to me. Like I, I don't know how to explain this to you because we love giving everybody opportunity, and some people do what they will with it. Some people play with it. Some people just want to say they had it for a moment. Hmm. Man, it's meant something to you, and that means something to me because this means something to me. You know what I mean? Thank to you. Be, to be this conduit, and so when that's why I always, you know, rock with free. Thank you. You know, so when you take advantage, this is a blessing, man. It's a gift. It's a privilege for us to be Most in this definitely. position. Thank you. Most definitely. It ain't, it ain't ob- nobody's obligated to do shit for us. You know what I mean? So when you take it seriously, you and you you know you earn your way to this point, and it took you this amount of time to get here, and you come up here and shine. That's excellence at its finest, right there, man. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, Thank you. man. It's definitely a new rock Thank chops. You. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that track too. That, yeah, was, that was that was a hot track. Too. That was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was hip hop. Needed that. Thank you. This, this election, DJ Wonder. Thank you, DJ, DJ Wonder, Wonder, my man. Thank he you always so come with that heat. Okay. Um, Shout out my boy Lake Show on the check in. Thank you, y'all, man. Are we keep That's all going? I can say, man. Okay, we're going to play this Kodak real quick and free, Woo. man. Thank you, man. Uh, God bless you, man. Whatever Thank you, we man. can do, whatever you need from us, Appreciate the don't love, hesitate, man. man. Thank just, you. just keep Thank going in so on much. the music. That's all we ask. All right, I got you. Scott Lee, right. you. You, you. Now you got to come back. So, you know. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. Absolutely. You got to come back, man. Sway in the morning, Shade 4 5. Talks on Black Moses. Kodak. Free will in the store tomorrow. That's right. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.
Yeah. <laughs>